Okay, let's start the project. So first of all, here is the fresh copy of Sprutka Mix Robot. So I have new project, totally fresh. So first of all, I will choose the robotic cell I'm going to use in this project. In order to do this, switching to the machining tab, I double click uh, the name of the uh, machine. Uh, you have some machine here by default, always. Okay, and I will push this include button and I will look for the folder where I have my robotic cell uh, downloaded. So in my case, it's somewhere here. In your case, it will be different. But anyway, uh, after I include this folder, it appears here at the bottom. And here I have this robotic cell. Okay, very nice one. And this one I'm going to use for this project. Next, I'm going to import a 3D model. So I have this Batman STL model. You also have it. Okay, after I have opened the model, I can see that it's too small, obviously. So in order to fix this, I will use embedded Sprutcam's uh, CAD capabilities. In this case, I will use spatial transformations. But first of all, please make sure that you have your Batman STL model in your part folder. Okay, if you have it in your workpiece or uh, in the root folder, please drag and drop it here in the part fo folder. Okay, next I will use my spatial transformations for this project. I will make rotation, first of all. Uh, this is the rotation, of course, obviously. So I will rotate along x-axis 90 degrees, apply. And I will also rotate around z-axis 90 degrees. Why am I doing this? First, I want my model to be vertical, oriented vertical. And next, I want the nose of the Batman to look the same way where the x-axis is directed. It's not necessary, but it will save us a couple of clicks later. So this is um, what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to scale my model. Let's say scale factor will be five. Apply. Okay, nice. And the last one, I'm going to move my Batman model along z axis 150 millimeters. Why am I doing this is that if my model is standing right on top of the surface of the rotary table, it will be not possible to machine these areas due to the collisions we will have. So I have moved it up, but now I need to define some fixture. Okay, so here in the real life, it will be some fixture here. And we must have it in Sprutcam because if we don't have it, we can generate some toolpath which is going through the fixture. And in reality, it will cause collisions which we ob obviously don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some restriction zone here. And in order to do this, I choose my restriction folder here. You can see restrictions folder. Please choose it here and press new design. Okay, new design is a button which is turning on the design tool in Sprutcam. So I'm choosing the designing uh, the, the plane for sketching, first of all. So I will use my XY plane and press this button, sketch. Okay, with the middle mouse button, I will align my view so that my uh, surface is now flat. And I will use this box uh, by two points tool in order to define some rectangle. Okay, if I look from the bottom, I can adjust the size of this, rect of this rectangle in order to be in for it to be inside the footprint uh, of the STL model, like this. Okay, so now I'm going back and I'm going to make extrude. So I'm still in the design mode. Now I can choose the elements I want to extrude. I will use this one and push extrude button and I will extrude it 150 millimeters. The exact the same amount which I uh, moved my 3D model along that axis like this. OK, so now I go back. What I have here is I have restriction here, restriction zone here. So the tool will not go inside this box. Now inside this box, I can have some fixture, whatever, uh, and it will be safe to run this program in real life. Okay, the project preparation is done. 
Next, we are going to make some operations.